हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज ब्लड रिलेशन आज वी नो ब्लड रिलेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लेट इट बी बैंक एस एस सी रेलवेज एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग्स इन ऑल द एग्जाम्स मिनिमम टू टू थ्री क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज नाउ इट इज इन एग्जाम एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग सो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट हियर रीड द इन्फॉर्मेशन केयरफुली एंड आंसर द गिवन क्वेश्चन बिलो A family consists of six members P, Q, R, X, Y, Z, right? Okay. So from first statement, we know that there are six members in the family P, Q, R, X, Y, Z, right? Okay. Now second statement is Q is the son of R, but R is not the mother of Q. So for solving this question, we need to draw blood relation tree. See, once we draw the blood relation tree, then we will be easily able to tell the relation between P, Q, R, X, Y, and Z. So let's start with the blood relation tree. Q is the son of R, but R is not the mother of Q. So Q is, I will draw it here. So Q is son of R, but R is not the mother. See, this statement is a contradictory statement, but you have to very nicely you have to write the blood relation tree. See, Q is the son of R. So if Q is a son, then Q will be male, and male we represent with plus sign, right? male we represent with plus sign and female we represent with negative sign right okay so q is a son of r but r is not the mother so if r is not mother then r will be what father right okay so if r is not mother then r will be father now the second statement we have completed second statement we have drawn in the form of blood relation tree next is p and r are married couple so p and r are married couple so if p is married to r then p will be female because r is already male so p will be female right and they are married to each other husband wife relation is there so i am drawing two lines here so my statement 3 is also completed right okay now next line is y is the brother of r and x is the daughter of p see y is the brother of r so brother sister relation we have to draw like this right so y is the brother of r and x is daughter of p so x will be daughter of p means i can draw it like that and if x is a daughter then x will be female so minus sign i have put it here right okay so from here what we can say for q and x the parents is p and r that means q and x will become brother and sister right so statement 4 that also we have drawn using the blood relation tree now z is the brother of p so z is the brother of p that means z will be male because z is a brother and for male we use plus sign so z is a brother of p now this is our blood relation tree and using this we have to answer four questions below what are the questions let's see who is the brother in law of r so for r who is the brother in law now r wife r wife is p and r wife brother is z that means your wife brother your wife brother will be nothing but your brother in law uh, in the question they are asking the same thing who is the brother in law of r so z will be the brother or brother in law of r right okay so question number 1 is answered let's move to question number 2 how many female members are there in the family so if you'll see female members so x is a female and p is a female so there are two female members in the family if they will talk about the male members then out of six members two are female then other four will be male right okay next question is how is q related to x so now you see where is q q is here and how is q related to x so q and x is brother sister relation so q is brother of x right q is what brother of x you see here q and x are brother sister so q will be brother of x now the next question is how is y related to p so where is y y is here and where is p p is here so p is husband brother if your husband brother will be what your husband brother will be your brother in law your husband brother will be your brother in law so y is brother in law of p so here i can write down y is brother in law of p and this is the answer for question number 
So once you draw the blood relation correctly, then after that you can answer the question in fraction of second. See the blood relation tree is very much important. If you are doing any mistake here, then all the four questions will become wrong. See if you solve this as small puzzles, you get four marks in the exam. And from this small puzzles, if you are scoring four marks, then it will be helpful to crack the exam. So blood relation tree very confidently you have to draw it correctly and then only you will be able to answer the all the question correctly. I hope you understood how to solve it and the approach whatever I have used here to solve the question. Please use the same approach. Thanks a lot for watching the video.